Growing Pains, Lisbon edition. Hi YouTube, we are in Lisbon, Portugal for our solo trip. Super excited to take you guys along this trip. I landed at about 11 a.m. today and it's about 6 p.m. right now. The flight was kind of shitty, but I can't complain. I've made it. I haven't filmed my day yet today. Also, I am wearing a top. Sorry, it's a strapless top. I just kind of look naked from that angle. I haven't really filmed today yet because coincidentally, some of my boyfriend's closest friends happen to be in Europe and happen to be in Lisbon, happen to be in a 10 minute walk from my Airbnb. We had like a one day overlap on this trip, so I decided to hang out with them. I've spent a lot of time with them in Brooklyn and I know them quite well. So it was really fun. I just joined the boys trip for a day. We just walked around, shopped, ate, and I'm meeting them for dinner now. Here's the outfit. I am so excited to be able to walk around in flip-flops. Like maybe I could do this in New York, but it also kind of freaks me out. My place is beautiful. I will show you guys it because after this video is filmed, I clearly won't be here. But just like a stunning view. But let's go get dinner with the boys. <laughs> Hi everyone, it is day two in Lisbon and we're getting ready to go on a run. I don't know how far I'm gonna be able to make it. Lisbon is very hot, very sunny, but most importantly, very hilly. I was walking home at midnight last night from going out with my boyfriend's friends, which was so fun, but it was a workout in itself to get home. Like, it felt like the remnants of Big Sur. It felt like San Francisco, like the one time that I've been there. We're not complaining, it's a lot of fun, very beautiful. The food's been great, everyone's been out and about, so it's really nice to see the city like super lively. There's a festival this week called St. Anthony's Day. I'm talking to a few girls that live here when we were going out and they're like, it's on the 13th, which is when I'll be here, but it kind of extends throughout the week. So there's just been a lot of people in the street going out, a lot of fun. I don't really feel like I have the bearings of like the city yet, just because I've been here for a day and I was kind of like mindless yesterday, just following where my boyfriend's friends were taking me, which was nice. Now I'm gonna figure out where we're headed. So I'm gonna run down to the water, come back, and then I think I'm gonna get breakfast with them. Gonna go to the flea market later today. I do need to go buy an adapter today because I brought one that worked in Paris, but I didn't realize that they have different outlets here. Dumb American moment, so I need to get that so I can charge my camera, my headphones, my phone, all of those things. No idea how far I'm gonna go. I think when you're traveling, it's really hard to perform well. It's so funny when I see a lot of my friends run like the Berlin Marathon, Tokyo Marathon. I'm like, how the fuck do you like adjust and your body actually feel good to PR those races or just perform well? It's because they go out a few days before, but still even that, I never really feel like at my best fitness when I'm traveling. I didn't really sleep on the plane. Yesterday was a bender, but we're in Lisbon. I'm gonna play at Nusa set. This is super old, but it's this tie-dye set. My collection comes out this Sunday, which is gonna be super exciting. It's Father's Day, which is definitely gonna be bittersweet. I wish my dad could have been there to see me launch the collection. Um, my dad knew that I was going to be working with Planet Nusa. That was like towards the end of July, but you know, he got the cancer diagnosis a few weeks after that, passed a few weeks after that. So I get to see the collection. I didn't really know much about it at the time, but I know he'd be proud of me. Just one of those other things that, an achievement that he's not here for. And it sucks. It sucks a lot. We're gonna run. Go enjoy the city. I know my dad would be really proud of me for being here on this solo trip. Eight months before he passed, we were in Australia as a family and my dad and I got dinner by ourselves one night just because we wanted a different cuisine than the rest of our family. That dinner with him, he was talking a lot about his travels in his 20s and just really putting yourself out there and doing it while you can, doing it while you have health, doing it while you have money, doing it while you don't have kids and other things that are gonna make it much more challenging to travel. So I've been leaning into that. You guys know that I'm moving in August. I might be moving out of New York to somewhere exciting and international, but I'm not going to share any details on that until it's confirmed, but I could be moving somewhere else and somewhere else really exciting, but we have to figure out a lot and yeah, but I'll tell you guys if that does happen, obviously on YouTube. So let's go run. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Hi everyone, it is a Tuesday morning and we finished up our run. We're heading to the flea market. Went about four miles on the run, ate a banana and some coffee after, but now I'm getting my true brunch. Getting it with my boyfriend's friend group. Solo trip, boys trip, but here's the outfit of the day. I did the shirt in New York right before I left for the trip and it screams Euro summer. Hi 
everyone. I'm climbing up the hills of Lisbon right now. Just got some seafood for dinner that was amazing. And then I just got some gelato. Doing some reflecting on where I am in life. You know, my relationship with my body, food, all of that. The fact that I ate some gelato in a mini dress after a really like large meal of seafood. And I feel comfortable with that. Just proof that like, I really didn't think I was ever gonna recover from my eating disorder, like ever. The rules that I had for myself and like how strict I was and how mean I was to myself. I thought I was gonna be stuck like that. A little bit of hope and optimism to any girly out there that is in the thick of it. It's like 7.30 p.m. and I'm exhausted. Um, yesterday I just like powered through because I was hanging out with my boyfriend's friends. But I think now my lack of sleep is catching up to me. So I'm gonna go back to my Airbnb, FaceTime my mom, and then figure out my day tomorrow. I think I'm going to run in the morning, maybe like a hike, trail run situation, go to a beach. Cause that's what I'm here for, baby. Good morning everyone. I think that I slept for maybe 12 hours. I was in bed FaceTiming my mom at 8 p.m. and she was like, you need to go to sleep. Your eyes are like closing on this FaceTime. And I was like, no, 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 like talk to me, like stay up. So I stayed up for a little bit, had a horrible nightmare, horrible, horrible nightmare. And I don't know why um, I'm taking a tea break on this trip. Like I didn't obviously pack any weed because it is not legal here. Um, and I've just been having a lot of headaches with it. Like I think it's cause it's so hot outside. My body's not adapted to that. And so then when you add like weed, you know, it elevates your heart rate, you know, makes you a little loopy um so i'm just taking a break from it and like we'll see what happens when i get back to new york but i'm about to head out on a run i packed a little gel so hopefully i'll go like six or seven miles we will see it's not that hot outside yet but i feel refreshed my whoop said i was recovered today so i feel like we're gonna have a good run putting that into the universe um wearing a planet noosa set i packed all planet noosa goal of mine is to get not like exclusively planet noosa in my wardrobe but i do like having their stuff because i feel the most confident in their pieces look good run good right but we're gonna go run in lisbon it is day three here and we're gonna head to the beach after we finish up this run so let's go get it good morning everyone i ran seven miles and that was really hard <laughs> didn't kill me made me stronger but it was like all crazy steep inclines didn't really know where i was going i went into some park and it was all like trails so i got a little bit lost but we made it back going to brunch and then we're going to the beach which i'm really excited about okay hi everyone i am going for dinner let's go on a little walk shall we I spent the entire day at the beach and a lot of times when I was sitting out, I just like get heat sensitive pretty quickly. But I also know that I get antsy, like I hate sitting in one place and I feel like that's New York City for you. But I forced myself, not forced myself, of course I was on a beach, it was beautiful, whatever. But I allowed myself to just sit and do nothing for hours and it was great. Um, I showered off and now we're off to dinner. The local small plates vibe that a lot of my friends recommended. Hi guys, I just finished up dinner and got some dessert. My Planet Noosa collection launches on Sunday and in Copenhagen today they had a run to celebrate it. One thing I was just thinking about, I feel like I have a lot of anxiety, you know, it's Father's Day on Sunday, I'm moving in August, in a relationship, I'm in this country, I feel out of rut with social media. One thing I was just thinking, like, what if everything works out? You know, sometimes I don't account for that. Like, what if everything that I'm worried about doesn't happen? I feel like I'm gonna start crying because there's so much that's fallen into place and so much that I've lost, but there are a lot of beautiful things and it's really hard to balance that if it all works out. We'll see. Okay, hi everyone. My camera is about to die. I forgot to charge it, but we're going to get dinner tonight. I scored on some vintage shopping today, which was great. I got this necklace, so here we are. I got this necklace on the street and this dress today, which was awesome. Um, been laying low, had a four mile run in the hills again. I don't feel like I've been productive on this trip, which has been good for me, but I've been filming a lot of content and I'm excited for you guys to see this vlog. So let's go get dinner. I feel like this might be my favorite outfit. Growing Pains, Lisbon edition. I'm thinking a lot about the same concept that came up in the first video. The fact that I'm moving, my Planet Noosa collection, missing my dad, missing my boyfriend right now. A lot of new things, a lot of big things. And I think I'm finally realizing that I'm entering a new chapter of my life. I'm not in the chapter where men treat me like shit. I'm not in a chapter with my dad to support me and see everything I'm doing. I'm not in the chapter where I'm probably gonna be in the US. Um, and I haven't said that to you guys yet, but 
this move potentially could bring me internationally, not to Lisbon, somewhere else. But that's something that I'm processing and I'm really excited and eager to do these things. I feel like I'm in the next stage of my professional life as a creator, you know, with the Planet Nusa collection. I feel really inspired to dream bigger again. While I'm so excited about all these things, I'm very nervous. I feel like I'm losing a bit of myself. I'm losing the girl that, you know, made little TikTok videos and so independent and single and stuff like that. I don't miss that part of it, but I think it's an identity shift that I haven't really processed yet, you know? To be loved even when you have flaws is something that I've never had. Really commit to recovery from my eating disorder to be kind and to see joy in the world every single day. That's been a new theme since my dad has passed. And I'm finally accepting that I'm growing up and there's new things and I don't know what the future is going to bring necessarily for me, but the old identity that made me stuck in a lot of ways and made me anxious and depressed, I don't have to live like her. You know, I think since relationships have never worked out for me, I'm always waiting for something to go wrong. TikTok seemed really inconsistent when I first started and now I'm finally embracing the fact that I'm a creator full time and this is where I'm gonna be for the next few years or so. New York, I've been there for seven years and if I do move, that would be a brand new chapter of things to film, places to run, places to explore. Really excited for it, but change is hard. These are big, good changes, and I think if I didn't have this change, I would continue to feel stuck and in a rut, like I've mentioned in the first video. Change comes a new version of myself, I guess. And I'm really proud of who I am right now. I'm really excited to continue to grow into myself and continue to meet new versions of myself. Hold the hand of the past versions of myself and take them on a little walk with where we're going. Here's to the future, everyone. Morning, everyone. It is a Friday. I went on a three mile run. I allowed myself to sleep in and I honestly wasn't gonna run, but it's so funny when it's a consistent habit, how good it makes you feel like mentally. You guys know that running is like a physical accomplishment thing for me but a lot of it is mental. It really gets me through my days. It really provides me that like time alone with myself to think and just get rid of the scattered thoughts in my head. So I woke up kind of late and the reason that I was thinking maybe I don't run today is because I got invited into a showroom from a designer that is based in Lisbon. I tagged them on my Instagram. I think the first day that I got here, I went to a boutique with my boyfriend's friends and I was in love with these pants. They were super colorful. They looked like they were almost uh, painted on or maybe they used like paint markers or some sort of textile design. I looked up the brand myself and they are a Lisbon based brand. So we're going into their showroom today. They kindly invited me in. For those who don't know, I interned in fashion when I was a freshman in college. That's a lot of what I thought I was gonna do with my life. I still feel like fashion informs a lot of my life. You know, the Planet Nusa collection, just getting dressed and sharing that part of my life every single day online. But I don't technically work in the industry nor really find myself to be a fashion creator. Like I should not be getting invited to like New York Fashion Week stuff by any means. Like I'm not following that beat as much as I am running. Anyways, when I was at this fashion internship, I remember this distinct feeling that I feel right now when I was putting together my outfit every single day. I think with remote work and COVID and being a freelancer, I don't find myself getting ready with any sort of like time crunch anymore, which is great, but it's also kind of, I don't know, disorienting sometimes. Like I don't feel like I have a job, whatever, cause I don't have an office to report to. So I felt like a little fashion intern girly, ready to go to the office and meet all the fashion people. See what we get up to for the rest of the day. I was planning to go back to a different beach, but it's kind of windy and kind of cloudy today, but that kind of sounds peaceful. Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm in this small little beach town called Cascais. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, but it's stunning. I will show you the view when I get out there and I'm gonna spend the rest of my Friday there. Had a fun little moment at the showroom of the designer and then I got brunch and now we're at the beach. Sometimes you gotta be a vegetarian, okay? I needed a salad. I feel like I've just had a lot of like sourdough and eggs and I wanted some freshness in my life. Spent the day at the beach. Um, also needed a break from the sun because I get so heat sensitive. So, I'm gonna eat my salad, drink my kombucha, get a little brownie, and then enjoy the last day in Lisbon. The thing about me is I will always find my way to a farmer's market. It is my last day in Lisbon. I went on a run, got brunch, had to drop off my luggage. Back in the small town of Casais, where I was yesterday for the beach. So, found a farmer's market. Classic Kate move. Hi everyone, we are back in New York City. I just ran five miles and I'm gonna end the little Lisbon vlog here. 
The trip to Lisbon really allowed me to sit down, slow down, reflect, and really just feel inspired about this next chapter in my life instead of feeling scared of it. I think change is a really good thing and I feel like in all parts of my life I've really been excited about change, but for some reason it feels really daunting and scary and so I've been working through that. I journaled for about an hour and a half on the plane ride and I'm really excited for running, I'm really excited for moving, figuring out who I want to be on social media, continuing to be creative and like reinvent myself on different platforms. We're excited about that. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode of Growing Pains.